Okay, so today we're going to be doing a Suki Stackhouse um, makeup look. And she doesn't, she isn't really known for wearing a lot of makeup. She's very just natural most of the time. But the look I'm going to be doing is the one, the episode where she's almost abducted by, not abducted, but um, I feel like saying that word is wrong. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not abducted. Kidnapped by the Fellowship of the Sun. That's the one where she's wearing the yellow dress and all that stuff. Um, and she's got her hair pinned back and... It's kind of a smoky brown eye. That was one of my favorite looks of hers. I think it, it went really well with her skin tone and her hair color. And the good thing about using this brown eye, this smoky brown eye, is that it goes well with all eye colors. I'm gonna start off by, I've already primed my eyelids. I'm gonna be using one sole palette for this whole look. And the palette is a Motives palette that comes with three colors. It's a three tone palette. It comes with this um, skin toned white, sort of off um, white beige ish, beige ish, and then this sort of shimmery medium brown, and then this dark um, chocolate brown. And the link to the photo is below in the description. So start off with the skin toned color as the base, and this you're going to be putting all over your eyelid. And I like using a base because whenever I find the need to have to blend other colors to give it a sort of gradient like effect, it's easier when you've got a source of powder on your eye already. So it's kind of like painting in a sense. And this look is incredibly easy, and you can definitely wear this like every this could be an everyday makeup look so I can I totally suggest that if you need an everyday makeup look so I'm gonna be taking this medium brown and putting it just along my crease you hold in your arms don't act like it will be for always the way you write me in your words and then take a blending brush. I'm using this regular contour brush that I have. Um, and blend upward to the side. And now take the chocolate brown. And this chocolate brown is going to be going under your lid here. That bottom lid just there. Kind of like a liner in a sense. And um, right on top of this whole lid here. I'm using this instead of a dark brown liner because it's more, it's not so harsh as a liner would be. have those days when you have like on middle school and those tornado drills where you put your hair between your legs and just give into that feel. Oh, less is more. And then take that same blending brush and just swipe it in sort of a, like a windshield wiper motion. Now take a powder brush with some loose powder. And you're going to dust off, wipe off any excess that you may have that may have fallen your face here with a long hold out and then take a small brush in the same chocolate brown color and run it just be below the eye I find that if I do this and I run it along just like that that it doesn't come out as thick as I you know what I mean like it comes out thinner than what I would normally, than what it would normally look like if I were not to pull on the lid there. And then just take a regular, typical black mascara or even a dark brown mascara, which I feel would, I find that to be a better choice. Um, 
I'm gonna use my usual Mary Kay mascara and just run a little bit of mascara along the lashes, not too much. You don't have to hit the bullseye no more. Rip the dots from the board. Don't have to worry about that bullseye. And then just one dab to the bottom lashes. Don't have to worry about that bullseye no more. That bullseye no more. And those are the eyes. Super, super easy. And now with the face, take a bronzer or um, a facial powder that's just a few shades lighter than yours because we're going to be shading a bit here. And I'm using um, Avon's Blush in Earth and Rose. And it looks like this. Now I'm very, very fair. So I have to be careful with this one because it will definitely sh like show. Dab my brush in there using a very loose powder brush. And then we're just going to shade in the hollows of the cheeks here. And then take a natural pink color and I'm using Bare Minerals and Courage and take just a small blush brush with just a bit of the brush because this one's very heavy you don't want to put too much blush on there and just dab it on the apples of the cheeks and with the lips, I'm going to be lining it with a rosy brown color. And the lip liner I'm using is from Avon in Neutral. And this is the color. And then for the lipstick, it's also Avon in Coco. And it's kind of a rosy brown. I love this color. It's one of my favorites. It's summer time. It's summer. And then grab a piece of tissue and just blot the lips. And there you go. This is the sucky look. Oh, it's summer time. Get your butt outside.